He don't give a fuck about winning or losing. Yeah. Mm. There's 30 teams. Five teams have a team. One of no, five teams want rings. If you had a team, right, and you have the team for 10 years, you only have it for 10 years. You win 500. You, you win five rings in the 10 years, and you made 500 million or no rings, you make and you make two, two billion. billion. Which one do you take? Two billion. Two billion. Every billion. Time. Every what is a ring worth? Nothing. Tell my friends. Oh, I won a championship. While the other one's sitting there with two billion, <laughs> buying multiple teams now. Yeah. And that's well, you know. Now, now look at your favorite team, and you wonder why they don't win. In rea reality, this is a business. Win or lose, these owners are making money. Some of them don't even care about winning because you got to no. pay for the parade. You got to pay like, for all so, that. It's like you got to pay for so much Jason stuff when you win. It's like I'm gonna get his bread. In reality, there's 30 teams, five teams have a team. One of no, five teams want rings. Mm-hmm. Right? Five teams want rings. Then you got 15 teams that just want to make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. The other team teams don't give two shits about none of it because the city they're in makes money no matter what. Yeah. New York Knicks, when that building opens, he's making a million dollars. He don't give a fuck about winning or losing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Was it Michael Jordan's expectation as an owner to win because you were a winner as a player? No. No. That might be what huh? you sell. No. That no. Might, that's what you sell. He oh. may not give a fuck about it winning. It was Charlotte. But I'm just saying, like, Charlotte. Michael Jordan's the owner that's should a, be, that's, why are we not that's winning? Exactly that's exactly why. He was <laughs> mad as fuck every fucking game. Like, these motherfuckers can't play these. And, he picked and it's like, them. yeah, you picked these niggas. Yes, what, I mean, what did you I mean, pick these niggas for? You're going to be mad. I knew he was already fucked up. I mean, Knicks you're the New York six. Knicks. You ain't you won ain't nothing. 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 And you're worth six billion. In 30 years. Yeah. But Do you want to win championships? That was always my thing about legacies and championships, and you using championships as a, a staple for someone's career. Now, think about everyone who's ever been drafted to the Clippers, right? Mm -hmm. You have no legacy, period. Right? No matter what you did, you have no legacy because where you started off at. Now, now you think about the teams now, right? You're thinking about every bottom feeding team. So when you're getting drafted and you're a number one, two, three pick, what teams are you actually going to? Right? You're going to bottom feeding teams. Because they all. So your lost. legacy is already in question. Now we think about every legacy person that we think about when they talk about the pinnacle of this league. It's only three fucking cities. Chicago, L.A., Boston. Those now, players. you think about where those players got picked and look at the city. Lakers, number one pick, Magic. Mm -hmm. How? Don't know how they got them. Magic, right? Bird, number one pick, Boston. Don't know how you got them. You got them. Jordan. Jordan. Not Dan Gilbert comes in, buys that team for $500 million. Right. He ain't trying to spend like that. He ain't trying to spend that money out the... He just, I just spent 500 I'm not going to sit there and pay you this and this. Who you want? No, nah, I, I can't pay that right now. It's just, like, it's just I, Cleveland. I got to go. It's, it's hard to get somebody to come to some of these Yeah, things. boss said I'm not coming to Oakland. Yeah. Think about AI. You got just him and that sorry-ass group he carried to the championship. And he's like, oh, I need one more player. Nope. And they're looking at him like... Mm -mm. Can't afford That's it. all they you got. Like, hold on, like... I'm paying you max, and you sell every seat in here. I got to give him max, too? I won. What, what seat are he going to sell? I won. What seat? Yeah, you selling all the seats. What, what seat? So I'm just going to give him yeah, money won. that he ain't going to do nothing with. Like. So Gilbert's saying only five teams want to win. Um, I would probably go a little higher than five, maybe around eight, nine, seeing how these nine teams are over the... Salary cap, they're going to be paying a luxury tax, which is, for all y'all that don't know, the luxury tax is a extra fee that you have to pay to the NBA if you go over the salary cap. Now, they do give you some, like, mid-level exceptions and a few ways you can go over the salary cap, but even once you go over a certain number, you still have to pay the tax no matter what. And you even have something called a repeater tax that imposes a higher fine every single year that you go over consecutively. So like the Golden State Warriors, for instance, they keep going over. So they fee every year is higher and higher. That's one of the reasons I believe that they traded Jordan Poole because his contract was uh, 
pretty hefty one. And they was going to have to pay a tax every year to keep him. And seeing how him and Draymond weren't really getting along after that sucker punch. Well, it wasn't a sucker punch to me. Because if you're looking at somebody, that ain't a sucker punch. You, you got to be ready where I come from. But that's neither here or there. That's why I believe they traded Jordan Poole. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Y'all think all these um, owners out here want to win nowadays? Or do they really just care about the money? Let me know what y'all think. Hit that subscribe button if y'all liking the content so far. Thank you.